hi everyone and welcome back to a new video a new tutorial so today I'm gonna show you how to make this nice and easy uh, coaster uh, I've posted this in my stories uh, some time ago I think last month and uh, I'm gonna show you how to make it today it's very easy and simple it's just uh, a round off circle uh, with uh, different colors and at the end is a reverse uh, single crochet and if you want to see how I did this just stay tuned till the end of the video so uh, I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook and a full medium uh, yarn worsted yarn it's from the from Red Heart Soft Yarn and I'm gonna start with a magic loop we'll make around and bring my thread under and pull through and I'm gonna chain two so chain one and two I'm gonna make ten double crochet in the first chain from the hook one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. and 10 and I'll join on top of my first double crochet which is over here okay so uh, before I go any further if you are a beginner and you want to know how to double crochet make a slip knot and all of this you'll find in the description box crochet basics where it shows you uh, it's a group of videos where I show you uh, the basic stitches and how to begin in crochet otherwise we will continue with the next row so I'll fasten off here and I'll cut my thread because I'm joining a new color so this is my first color completed now I'm using the green guacamole it's one of my favorite colors You know, there are some yarn uh, brands which make amazing colors, depends uh, what you want to use it for, whether it's for garment or for uh, blankets or for anything, it's just there is a wide variety in each brand. So now I made a slip knot and I'll join in any stitch, okay, with a slip stitch and then I'll chain two okay so I'll make one double uh, two double crochet in the same stitch because the chain two is an invisible uh, one so one here and another one okay we'll make sure we hide the thread along while working around the circle so we put it in front so it goes under the stitches so now in every stitch I'm gonna make two double crochet around the circle so this is my next stitch one double crochet and another double crochet in the next stitch the same thing Okay. 
until the end of the row. Two double crochet in each stitch. Taking my thread along. So far it's very easy because you're just making a flat circle and now I'm at the end of this row and the last two double crochet before I join. And then on top of my initial double crochet Slip stitch. That's it. And this is my second uh, my second circle. How it looks like. Again, I will fasten off, and I'll cut my thread. Now again, I'm using the gray color. The same thing again. I'll join in any of the previous stitches but now the work will be a bit different. We'll first join and same we will do a chain two. Okay, I'll bring my thread with me and now uh, like we work a normal circle I will be making a uh, two double crochet in one stitch, one double crochet in one stitch. I will make two, one, two, one, two, one until the end of the round. So we're alternating two uh, double crochet and one double crochet. So in the next stitch I will make two double crochet. In the next one only one double crochet. Two, one. Two. One. Till the end of the round. So, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.
Okay, so this is my last one and I'll join on top of my first double crochet again. Okay, and then again I'll fasten off. And now we'll start the decorating edge which is the reverse double crochet uh, sorry single crochet so I'll just hide my thread here quickly in between the stitches so it does not disturb me later on. This is how it is so far. This one I can hide it later. And now taking back the green color. Okay. So uh, I made a video long time ago, maybe two or three years ago about the reverse uh, single crochet. I'll put it also the link in the description box if you want to have a look. Otherwise, again, you can just follow this one. So again, I'll join with a slip stitch or slip knot. Okay, I'll chain one. Usually when you do a double crochet, you go the forward side single uh, sorry single crochet single crochet but now what I'll do I'll go backwards doing single crochet so I chain one now this is my back stitch here I will insert my hook inside that back stitch okay like this you see and then work my usual double crochet pull through and pull through the two loops that's a reverse double crochet I'll go in the next stitch behind and I will do the same pull through pull through two and into the next stitch throughout my work pull through and pull through two this is my next stitch take your time when doing it you, you're doing it so uh, the thread stays in your hook okay another one pull through pull through two insert my hook into the next stitch pull through and pull through two next same
and then this is the end I will slip stitch inside my first stitch and then I'll fasten off again and that's it my coaster is ready later taking a needle you can hide this thread and this is my coaster ready to use okay look at this what do you think isn't this easy so the same this is smaller because the yarn is a, a thinner one and this is a thicker one so very easy to uh, crochet and very handy and useful at home uh, rather than buying uh, ready ones and maybe not at your taste you make your own coasters which you can use i've been using this for my coffee nearly every day and i like it so much so i'm gonna do a bunch of them let me know what you think in the comment section and until next time take care bye bye